All right, nobody asked for it. We're back Peter, with another video. Mr. Oh, Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, man. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Wow, look at this. This is so cool. I wish I could be out playing basketball right now. Man, um, it is so nice outside. It's Saturday. Hello? Um, Peter, it's Dr. Oops. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget. I just, I, I'll be there soon. This tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. He's right. How did I lose track of time? Oh, interesting. I hear a backpack. Um, as I was saying, it's Saturday and it's like so nice out. The weather's starting to get nice and it's, uh, let me see what my Google Home says. It's 62 degrees and sunny. Um, uh, man, like, I did get a chance to go outside today. Um, I actually got, uh, the COVID-19 antibody test done today. Um, oh, here's the back. So, a couple weeks ago, I want to say it was like four weeks ago now, I had a bunch of the symptoms. Felt like a really, really bad flu. Um, so I had that. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was weird, like, just like a really bad flu, and then it went away. But for about ten days, I didn't have any uh, sense of smell or taste. And about three days into it, I googled it and it had just come out in the news that like, oh, turns out sense of smell, loss of sense of smell and taste is like a major sign of COVID-19. So I was like, oh, I must have it. So self-quarantined for about two and a half weeks. Um, I still have a bit of a cough, like a dry cough, but nothing serious. But been self-quarantining, but it's like almost Mother's Day. Um, do want to try to get home and see the family so wanted to get tested before I go home um, so did that um, the process was okay all they do is they just prick you um, if anyone's diabetic you know you just you need to get the um, uh, you just do like the medical needle um, and uh, yeah, it just they just take a little bit of blood on a piece of paper. Uh, they have like five circles where you need to fill, but she took two just in case. Uh, you don't need to do all five, obviously. And I uh, should be hearing back in about two to three business days. So we'll see if I have it or not. Um, if I did, I had one of the more lesser symptoms, I guess. Just again, really, really bad, bad flu. I was bedridden for about two days. Started feeling bad Friday, I was out Saturday, Sunday, like pretty much out cold. Uh, well, not cold, I was... It was bad. Uh, I'm not going to downplay it, it was pretty bad. Um, and then, had to take a day off from work. One of the days. Because like, after three days, yeah, I took like a Thursday off. How does off. it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes. <laughs> hey. Hey. What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker. How the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? 
It's Mr. Mayor. Oh, he's a mayor now. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... But I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Hmm. Interesting. I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. Yeah, so, anyway, had the symptoms, if anyone's interested, like, um, I guess I could tell you what the antibody stuff ends up being like, I guess, uh, what the process is, and where I found it, but, um, yeah. Here we go, what's this? Harry's passion project. Harry left me a message about these before he left for you. I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. What are these? Just have to unlock them? That's weird. Start. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. What the? The idea is to catch the, um, what's the word? Contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might chill their polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high, and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. The particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like the mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Can I just get that?
nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. Huh. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. Good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff anyway. Run right through that. Freaking these people out. Ah, what else is new? Huh. The toxins coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped the public huh. health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. I wonder how important that was to the story. It's hard. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, hmm. I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Sick. Smashing the ground because I landed so hard. Freaking suck. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, 
I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa! Your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You wanna fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me, so young and stupid. You just stupid. You talk too much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking will do? Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me! Gotcha! Nothing I can grab. Nope, gotta try something else. Oh, I gotta let him destroy things. Coming your way! If you come clean, I can help you! You really wanna help me? Won't let me have the money! Sorry. Whoa. Oh, I need to use my suit's power to keep my special up. Damn, I keep forgetting. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid? You just stupid! You talk so much! Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, don't uh. kill me! Catch! Anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trading. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. oh, come on, Herman. If you tell me who you're working for, I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. I think that hurt me more than him. This one's gonna hurt. You're freaking me out, Herman. It's not like you to be afraid of people. Not even sure these guys are people. Could be anything under those masks. Wait, did you say masks? <laughs> these mask guys. What do they want the money for? No, no, don't care. Don't let me die. I'm gone. Okay, catch this one with your face. If you ask nicely, maybe. Protect you! No way! 
yourself literally sick man he was scared and desperate these demons are everywhere all of a sudden Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on demon uh, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. The fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. Hey, pal. This station tests particulate matter in the air. Now, you'd probably have some science jargony way to say this, but basically, too much is not good. Hmm, the readings are troubling but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. But I've got other problems. The sampler's detecting toxic particles. Better check it out. That steam vent's a good place to start. something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Oh, interesting. with something else. I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. This Let's see what cool. a sample from this can tell me.
What cool puzzles in this game. Nitric acid in there too. But also something else. I'm on the right uh. track. Just need to keep following the trail. This is more widespread than I thought. The whole neighborhood's in danger from this. Phew. That stinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it. Cool puzzles. Ethanol. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. When this is over, I'll alert the health department so they can check on the local residents. I found the problem. Caustic chemicals are leaking out of those barrels and into the plumbing. Need to clean up the site fast. Huh. The calcium and silicon and concrete makes it an ideal absorption material. Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. Slam the concrete. Mm. Oh. One down. Uh, ice. It's <coughs> breathing this stuff in. Just a couple more barrels. Last one. That's it! Sealing the grate with webbing should stop any residual drainage. That could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open. Wow, oh, interesting. What a cool puzzle. Hey, so I looked into reports of... demons. I knew you'd come around. They've been pretty busy tonight, hitting a lot of Fisk properties. They're going after Fisk? Damn. You thinking what I'm thinking? Brewing gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any Fisk properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. Hey, Yuri, any idea what Fisk uses that shipyard for? No idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the Fisk case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. Hmm. Huh. Horizon building. Doc left a message. Peter, I might have been a bit hasty advising you to find another job. I have a plan. Give me a bit of time. We may yet live to invent another day. The indomitable Otto Octavius. That's great news. Hope his plan works. Hmm, this looks like a fist construction thing, but I guess it's not. Seeing demons talking. Whoa! 
my god. He definitely died. Demons are after some serious financing. Oh, it's police. That's the sound of the police. Oof, that was cool. Alright, I think I'm gonna end it here. This is really cool. This game's, uh, game's really grown on me. I'm really enjoying just swinging around the city too. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna end it here.